Hello, my beautiful Hershey Kisses. I had to get up out of my bed to make this one because, you know, you have a lot of the millennials who are hurting, hurting so bad. I mean, you have a lot of these uh, adult children saying that they want to sue their parents for bringing them into this world. I want to sue my parents. <laughs> None of us asked to come here, sweetheart. None of us. But like they say, excuse my French, shit happens, don't it? Anyway, let me share this clip with you for educational purposes along with conversational uh, one. So you can see that you're not the only one who's going through trials and tribulation. And uh, for two, uh, let's talk about it. Really great. Is anyone else feel like they're absolutely fucking drowning financially as a single 29 year old woman i just i have three jobs and i'm still fucking struggling and i'm just getting myself farther and farther into credit card debt because i don't have enough after the first of the month to avoid using it it just isn't working Full-time job. <sighs> Not doing it. Got a second job. It's it's barely doing it. The third job. <sighs> Hit or miss. If I even get paid on time. I feel like I'm drowning. And I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know if any industry is doing well right now. I used to be a server. I used to have all this cash every night whenever I would work, walk out with cash. And I don't have that anymore. And I don't even know if they're doing okay <laughs> right now. <laughs> like, I have seriously considered quitting my full-time good job to go back to serving. Because at least I can have... I can just like, use, use my personality and try to get more money than minimum wage or what an entry-level job pays people nowadays it's fucking sick <sighs> try to call my mom she didn't answer snapchat my friends about this because i just needed a vent but i just feel like i'm drowning it's like okay do i just find a boyfriend so i can split everything with him like sorry like i just I'm too stubborn and I just want what I want and I don't I just can't do that or be that way um so yeah friends I might say no to your weddings I might say and I have said no to bachelorette parties and I just can't I just fucking can't um but is it anyone else or am I just a dumb bitch with money because I not, I used to not be my credit used to be fucking phenomenal credit card bill paid it all off every single time it's not like that. It can't be like that anymore. Oh my God, this is so long. <sighs> and do I know it's fucked up? I know it's fucked up. Okay. All right. It feels a little bit better. It feels a little bit better already. I'm not going to lie. <sighs> just want to know if anyone else is like me right now. If I'm just like the dumb bitch. Damn, fuck. No, sweetheart, you're not just a dumb bitch. Because if you're a dumb bitch, so are the rest of us. We're all struggling here. We're all having a rough time. I have three jobs. I have three jobs, sweetheart. I'm a content creator, but you can't depend on that because they can demonetize you whenever they choose to because they changed their policy and didn't let you know it. So now you got three months or a month or three months with no payment, you know, even though you're following the policy and the guideline, but they changed up. But, um, yeah, it, it's just ridiculous. You're not a dumb bitch. No, a lot of people are struggling out here. And I'm looking at the comments here. One woman says, this is the most money I've ever made in my adult life. And yet this is the brokest I've ever been. And then they say, and they wonder why our generation doesn't want kids. No, hell no. You got to be crazy to want to bring 
children into this madness. Let me share something else with you. With you, twelve hundred dollars a month. This is in New York City. You're not going to believe your eyes. Twelve hundred dollars a month, and they raise the rent every year. Check this out. This is crazy. Here, yeah, but guys. I am right here once again. Do you guys remember this building? If you're strictly looking for a place to stay in New York City, then this one might be for you. For those who have been following, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I can't even consider this one an apartment. The last time I did that, I got pretty roasted in the comments. But the tour must continue, so I'm going to head straight upstairs to the third floor, which is exactly where this unit is located at. So we're going to open this door and head towards my left. This unit is straight ahead, so this door right here, let's check it out. Welcome, guys, to your private oasis, or better yet, your <laughs> private room. That's because it. that's exactly what this is. And nothing more and nothing less. You do not have a sink do not have closets just this uh, window here so you can look outside and think you got hey, loves. Hold so on. teaching can... didn't Wait. think you got just that window so when you want to jump out of it <laughs> i made a mistake and hit the wrong button let's just go back honey let's look i will be here but guys I am right oh here God. once again. Do you guys remember this building? If you're strictly looking for a place to stay in New York City, then this one might be for you. For those who have been following, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I can't even consider this one an apartment. The last time I did that, I got pretty roasted in the comments. But the tour must continue, so I'm going to head straight upstairs to the third floor, which is exactly where this... Notice it's not even called an apartment. It's called a unit. How sick is this? Twelve hundred a month, and they raise the rent every year. Unit is located at. So we're gonna open this door and head towards my left. This unit is straight ahead. So this door right here. Let's check it out. Welcome, guys, to your private oasis, or better yet, because that's exactly what this is, and nothing more, and nothing less. You do not have a sink. Do not have closets. Just this uh, window here, <laughs> so you can look outside and Jump think out of about it. your life. <laughs> this is all right here, guys. I mean, I can literally just walk through the entire uh, room here and with literally just a few steps. Um, but as you know, things are pretty rough out there, and people do need a place to stay. And it's kind of hard out there. Places like this is what people tend to look for the most, especially when they need it, especially when they're new in the city or just because life, right? Um, these are the type of apartments that uh, you can go for. Um, so we can't really judge. This building, by the way, was built in the 1920s. I couldn't really get too much information upon like, what was it really considered back then? It, it... Is this insane? Mostly single rooms, other are being hold on guys hold on hold on guys let me back it up for a little bit okay go ahead sir what is the problem information upon like what was it really considered back then it is primarily mostly single rooms uh, that are being rented here but they actually do have units that have kitchen and bathroom and is fully equipped so it's pretty mixed up but enough of that let's check out the rest of this interesting unit because as you guys know and for those who don't if you're wondering where the bathroom is well that's going to be outside of the hallway here. you have two full bathrooms and yes that means you do have to share bathrooms with people in this floor um one on this side another bathroom parallel to this hallway. To get in, you must put a code on the door to enter this bathroom, of course, and uh, the lights in this bathroom is also with a timer. I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit, but check out the tub here. It's a standing shower slash tub, which highly doubt anyone will use it as a tub. You got your mirrors here, which I guess are okay, and then this is the timer for the lights. So, so if you like taking long showers, yeah, you can't do that here. This apartment is going for $1,200 a month. Is it worth it? Now, is this insane or is this insane? This is total insanity. But let me tell you what the Africans and the Mexicans and the Italians do. They stay home. You know, they stay home with their families. And that way, they don't have to live like that, you know? American people, they are so 
I don't know, into, I, I don't know, selfish, whatever the hell, but families need to stay together. This is why I said, if a man is not married, why should he leave his parents' home when he gets along famously with his mom? They respect each other's boundaries. He has his own job. He helps contribute to the bills. He picks up behind himself. He cleans up behind himself. They take turns cooking. He has his own transportation. Why should you live by yourself and pay all of these heavy duty? That's just stupid. All of this stuff is stupid. A lot of Americans, they deserve everything they get because they don't want to work together as a team. So it is what it is. You know, like this female... She said she called home. Her mom is not picking up the phone. I don't know why. You know, who knows? Fix your situation with your parents, honey. Move back in and support each other. Take care of each other. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle. Ding, 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 ding. 